Hey everybody, welcome to White Noise Live. I'm Kyle, I'm here with Ricky, and our special guest for this week, James Bowman. You guys can say hi now. We're oh, you. okay, hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> we are practicing uh, making the podcast sound good, and maybe someday we will achieve this goal. <laughs> I think I think I managed to actually like keep all the audio levels silent this time while the intro was happening. So we'll see how that worked out. Um, James is an animator from Newgrounds. He went under the username Donkey's Bazooka, and I met him at the Pico Day thing in 2012. And yeah. he's done some voices for us since then. And what do you what yes. do you do now? Would you like to further that introduction? Uh, uh yeah, now I've. Uh, taken my animation career to an actual career and uh, I work on the show for Netflix BoJack Horseman um, I'm a storyboard artist for them and a retake animator which essentially means I mean the whole thing is pretty much animated in Korea because that's how you do everything uh, okay. now. It's just <laughs> export it and it gets sent back to us and when Korea's done a terrible job I need to fix it <laughs> well, that's interesting I didn't know that this is actually, you know, this is, to be perfectly honest, way more interesting than I thought it was going to be because we've already talked to two people who are, like, YouTubers. So we've basically covered that entire spectrum of information. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So it's nice having somebody who actually does something completely different. Hmm. Um, also, I had no idea you were working on Bojack Horseman. I haven't personally watched it, but, I like, Ian likes it a lot and several It's others, incredible. Uh, and my friends have, have talked about it, so. Yeah, it, it, it picks up steam by the second season. How did you yeah. uh, get that job? Um, uh, just working at the same studio that does other shows. Uh, uh, originally, when I moved out here, this will be relevant to you in a sort of tangential way. Uh, uh, <laughs> I moved out here planning to move out here because I actually wanted to be like in writing and stuff. I wanted to be a writer. Okay. Uh, I just knew I could animate. Yeah. So I just figured, well, that's something for me to do while I try to be a writer. Moved out here and pretty much immediately, like within two days, got a job animating for Machinima, the huh. YouTube, yeah, their happy hour channel, uh, which uh, back, I mean, it's a terrible company. It's the worst company. <laughs> <I> really? <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, it's just like every five months they lay off 50% of the staff. It's just, <laughs> it's horrible. So anyway, I was the lead animator or whatever with this one other guy named Z Bashu uh, for like five months and then I was part of that latest round of layoffs and I was unemployed for like six months which sucked um, because I had to do freelance work. Did you ever have to dabble with freelance animation I, I work? I didn't do animation. I did some freelance web design. Okay, that doesn't was... sound quite as grueling. No, because no, I didn't um, sink as much energy into it. It wasn't... <laughs> Right. It was, you know, the animation part is probably what makes that difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also just, I hate freelance. I mean, there is the whole, hey, you set your own schedule. It's really great. Um, yeah, but I never knew where my next paycheck was coming from. And therefore, I just took everything that was handed to me, no matter how bad the pay was. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so I would... I can't go into too many details about how bad it got, but I like had to take like a 20 minutes of animation job for like $3,000, which for those not in the know is like a 15th of what I should have charged. Yeah. But I had to, anyway, neither here nor there. Fortunately, the connections that I made at Machinima got me a job at Shadow Machine, which is the company that makes the show Trip Tank, which you've also never heard of, I imagine. <laughs> I have Maybe some of you. I have, I've heard of, but I've never watched it. Don't. Don't bother. All right. I mean, do. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I should tell say that the ratings for that show, uh, I, I, I hope that they improve. <laughs> <laughs> because a third season would be wonderful. It, it was a lot of fun. To work on. Um, yeah, but its time slot when it when season two premiered in September was like Friday at midnight, so really prime time. Uh. Uh, really trying to lead with their best foot forward there at Comedy <laughs> Central. Um, so, anywho, uh, got, I worked on Trip Tank which is a, like a sketch comedy show for those who don't know, which is everybody. Um, 
uh, which is various different art styles, mostly done in Flash and that kind of thing. Um, but I was good enough at it that they're like, hey, stick around. And I took a storyboard test and I okay. became a storyboard artist on Bojack. And that's the, okay, that's the same company. Yeah. Cool. So. Well, yeah. that's so, awesome. And that's my life. That's, that's where my life ends. I died. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I know you wanted to get into writing. Is storyboarding, I don't, I don't know, like, does that affect the writing process at all? It, it actually like really, really does. Yeah. It's, it's fortunately, like, more than I realized it did. I thought I was just going to be an artist who translates the script and just draws it, yeah, basically. You get to work with the writers more, though. I don't personally, but maybe... I'll get there next season or something, but <laughs> I'm at least, I'm the, uh, the, the messenger boy kind okay. of thing. Ba basically, I need to translate, uh, I mean, it is essentially translating script to screen, but one of the things that people love about BoJack are all of the jokes hidden in the background. There's just tons of jokes, like, yeah. uh, like on the walls and, you know, characters doing things. Yeah, 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 all that. Uh, we actually write those. Okay. And a lot oh, of the nice. the visual gags are done by us. Also, like how the the timing of the jokes a lot of times works is right. done by us. So it's uh, it's actually it's a lot of it, it's a it involves a lot of creativity. So. Yeah, well that that, yeah. that is interesting. That's um, especially I mean that's that's what animation mostly is I guess about the visuals and stuff. So it's yeah. storyboarding was always my favorite part of the process when I was doing my own animation too oh, yeah. because. That's the part where you're telling the story. And that's the whole reason I got into animation right. was to tell stories. And I picked the worst way to do it. Because <laughs> like, it takes so long to animate something. Yeah. But, yeah, that's why I don't now. <laughs> that's, that's why I moved away much, from doing right? that. Um, yeah. But that is cool that you actually managed to, to go get a job like doing animation full time like that though because I don't know if there's a whole lot of people on Newgrounds who actually ended up moving into doing that like as a career and you know going yeah, to LA it does, or anything like that. It so. does sound cool but actually now that you mention it um, do you know on Newgrounds the guy Jazz Light? Uh, no I don't. He did this series called Necropolis um, I don't know how much more information I can give you but anyway uh, he was a guy, guy from Newgrounds who now works at Shadow Machine also and we oh, kind of okay. just we're talking one day, and we're like, oh, you were on Newgrounds? Oh, shit, we know, I mean, oh, darn it, we know each other. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. Slip at the time. Uh, yeah, no, that was, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. yeah, there are a few other animators out here that I've spoken to, like Almighty Hans, he's out here, Tomar lives out here, I've seen Eagle Raptor a couple times. Oh, yeah? But, yeah, you know, just people. It, th this is where a lot of YouTubers. Yeah, well, when that, they that was the interesting thing for me is a lot of a lot of internet people ended up b going out to LA, which always kind of bugged me because I thought like we're all online, we could be anywhere. Exactly. What's it the doesn't point? it doesn't you have to be, be focused in one geological location. Yeah. And everybody goes there anyway. But it is handy. I I mean I'm not speaking from experience because I've had no success online. Uh, but it is handy to be out here so you can meet face to face yeah. with uh, this is where like the youtube networks and stuff yeah, are like yeah, maker absolutely. and you can pitch stuff if people want to hear what you have to say which they don't want to hear what i have to say but <laughs> it's you know it's 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 the place to be well we have trouble collaborating yeah. with people here too for that reason just because there's aren't you know there are, there isn't a huge concentration of people um at least doing film right. kind of stuff in in the in the area or not doing right there are people doing film stuff in Austin, but they're not also doing YouTube. It's trying to find that little, that, the crossover that's hard to do. To make, like, movies for, like, film schools? Just, uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Film, film festivals, rather? Austin's, Austin's yeah. a big indie film area. Um, yeah. Which is, you know, people who... Um, <laughs> lots of people with very little money making very cheap films that they then try to submit into the festival circuit as if they are professionals is most of what I have experienced. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, uh, you've, how many, you made the guards themselves. That's your featured length. We, we did do that. Thing, right? Yeah. That was, um, but, our senior project from film school actually. Aside from your, I'm sorry, I haven't watched everything on your YouTube channel. Very That's extensive. Fine. Good job. Good Thank catalog you. of work. You're <laughs> hard workers, y'all. Um, <clears throat> you, have you made, like, short films? I've seen, you made a lot of sketches. 
Yeah, but, like, I don't think we've really done things oh, that could be described as much as short Gary films. Gary the Misanthrope can be described as a short film. <laughs> can it? I told, yes, and I told you to submit it. I thought it was good. It's, um, it's, just it's a, a short video, film. I guess it's a short film, but it's just a video of me making an angry face and walking around and doing horrible things to people. Which, okay, that it, sounds like a short film. <laughs> and you also, like, it, it's, it's, I feel like it was, like, artsy enough to, like, make it. Like short it films, could definitely like, be passed off as RT. It wasn't, but we could pretend it was, and people would believe us. I mean, like, how long I was it? It was, like, four minutes? Like, <laughs> yeah. wasn't there a short film that, like, got nominated for an Oscar that was, like, three minutes, four minutes? Probably, yeah, that? yeah. We're, I, so, I'm actually more in, like, I, I have a web series idea that I'm currently working on with Ian and Rachel that we're hoping to start at some point this year. Um, and that kind of thing I'd like to do more. Um, I like doing series, like... Like counterintelligence. No, not like counterintelligence. I like doing. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! I like doing. I just had a great idea. You said you're having trouble finding people to collaborate with on this stuff. Well, yes. I got a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> just well, insert me. Which means you, you know what? Yeah. I'm I'm not even kidding. Like we've done that for one of our most popular series. So <laughs> with, <laughs> we could totally have you in something, and we have actually had you in. One thing people have seen because I finished this thing and released it, unlike the other thing you were in, which this is was the uh, star, the faster than light, thing. yeah, faster yeah, than light I thing. Yeah, you were the yeah. the guy over the intercom. That was funny. Um, I like the way you write. It's I get your oh, sense of you. humor a lot. Yeah, it's 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 funny. Good stuff. It's that's that's been the only way we've, we've been able to collaborate with people so far. Is we had we had as voices like we had you do that part, and then we had a squire voice a sentient computer once, and that's about the most collaboration we've been able to do so far <laughs> with other YouTubers. Um, but uh, but yeah, hopefully we can work out Oops. some more stuff in the future with uh, I don't know, actually traveling to places and meeting people face to face. Like, wait like till the money starts too. rolling in. But you're getting <laughs> yeah. there. Ten thousand subscribers. Yeah, we did. We and did you do just that sink it back into the company, right? And then you can that's write it much, all off on your taxes. That's pretty much all we're doing at the moment. Any money we're getting just goes right back into making the videos, which is nice because it means camera. my money doesn't go into making the videos. It goes to <laughs> hookers and blow. <laughs> Sorry. Shut up, James. This is, this is not that kind of audio podcast. It's it's fine. <laughs> if it can be shown on Futurama, it's fine on this podcast. It's not like. Interesting pull. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that, that sounded like a Bender thing, so. Oh, what'd you say? That the, your, it that, sounded that like a Bender. Or oh, wait, who something. are you saying? Re me or Ricky? I'm talking to Ricky. Ricky gets drowned yeah. out, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I thought I saw Futurama got picked up for another season, or was that just a troll post that I read? I heard that, that they're Netflix trying to get it picked up on Netflix, but I didn't know if that was confirmed. I haven't I'd like heard. to find out, though. You should get, if only you should we had the that. internet. You could do that. <laughs> I mean, you're already working. Well, I mean, you're working for that other studio, but they make things right onto Netflix, like BoJack. Yeah. Um, Different studio, though. I, but. Probably it's going to be made by Film Roman, the company that makes The Simpsons, and I don't know anyone there. What it's actually interesting. This happy Hour channel. So I'm just looking at it. And I'm like, oh, there's is? a lot of crap. There's a lot of crap. I, I can actually show you exactly the ones that I made. First, I did this like series for one of the YouTubers, Lyle McDouchebag. Uh, oh, that's it, a good it's, name. it's this series called Rip Snorting. Uh, that I'm still quite proud of. Did four episodes of that. Um, that was the first thing that I did when I came out here. And then I did a couple of other shorts. Let's see if I can even figure out. Just a uh, reminder, we can't actually see the shorts on the podcast because it's mostly audio. So just as we're wait. up. <laughs> wait till after. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. I see them here. I see the oh. thumbnails. Cool. It looks like a man with a bandana with a very uh, good sense of facial hair. Yeah, mutton chops. Yeah. You so should what, get mutton chops. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We we have a mutton chop guy actually. We we got that covered <laughs> here. At oh, who? Yeah, uh, Ethan. I mean, they're not sure? they're not full, but he's he's got the. He's Button got a lot of sideburn going on, yeah. Um, I was... envy your, your, uh, your luxurious face rug. Yes, he gets complimented. <laughs> I can't... You are the second of three guests to compliment him on his. <laughs> it's beard. true though. No, I. This is a comb over. This isn't like I can't grow <laughs> facial hair. 
I also got a message from Squire like a week after we filmed that said, I'm going to court you, prepare to be boarded. <laughs> That guy's awesome. That's a uh, that's a good pickup line. This is great. <laughs> that is that is only like a most, squire pickup line. <laughs> that's the that's made it with the most British accent ever. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I actually gave him well, what what kind of British accent? The the the, the most proper kind you can think of, like the so not Manchester. <laughs> the yeah. most okay. British gentlemanly thing ever, like Kingsman level of. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> They're pompous and better than us. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's got seventy thousand subscribers, so yeah, he's way better that than makes him better than any of us. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, speaking of things on Netflix, I spent the entire morning watching season uh, two the of first three episodes of season two of Daredevil. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. I'm excited though. Yeah, I was. I'm. I'm leaving for a week this uh, today <laughs> in a few hours actually I'm, I'm leaving to go to Ireland for a week so I don't get to watch it so I was trying to cram it as much as I can Ooh. before uh, before heading out and yeah they weird. don't they don't have they don't have uh, Netflix in Ireland and if they do <laughs> it's all in Irish so you can't understand it <laughs> it's I'm gonna be like in hostels and stuff which is with my phone so I'm not really gonna have an opportunity to, to be watching so you really is it a shame oh, huh? sorry Oh, I just realized, I was like, did you, like, save a bunch of money because you're going, like, the week after St. Patrick's Day? I don't oh, know. Yes, I, I did specifically <laughs> avoid the week of St. Patrick's Day because I <laughs> assumed it was going to be kind of hectic. Hectic. Um, <laughs> you know, I have a feeling, and I could be totally wrong about this, but I bet St. Patrick's Day in Ireland is just kind of like, eh, it's another day. But here is where it's fucking... I mean, it's stinking chaos. <laughs> it doesn't count if you say the word and then correct yourself. I didn't say the whole word. Just commit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're going to say it, just say it. Like, <laughs> um, right. but, uh, um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know it's, if it's as big you know, a deal over there as we make it out to be or if it's... Well, because that's just the way Irish Americans are. They're so proud to be Irish. Like... I think that actually annoys actual Irish people. <laughs> oh, look, we have one person in the chat. Why are, there's like nobody here today. Hi, Chewy. How's it going? My we fault. Actually, we usually have a few people. <laughs> hey, Lamau. Right, that's, oh, there's people in the chat. There is yeah. exactly one person in the chat right now. We normally have an act, like a decent number of people, but for some reason that is, uh, is Ricky, very there's someone with today. the same name as you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Daredevil season two is shaping up to be pretty good, so I would uh, I would recommend it to anybody. If you have not seen Daredevil yet at all, go watch the first season of Daredevil and then watch the second season of Daredevil. I saw Daredevil season two on Netflix and I got distracted watching Friday Night Tykes. What? It, it is a show. It's a documentary series about San Antonio ultra competitive eight year old football. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's insane. Like, it it is actually just sounds good. It, like, how competitive they are. Like, they have, like, little eight-year-old kids, like, screaming, like, you know, just profanities at the other kids. Like, parents screaming profanities at kids. I've, kids getting concussions. I've like, witnessed these people in real life. Because I also so live I. in Texas. So, yeah. I was just happy to see that it was in San Antonio and not, like, in Austin. <laughs> yeah. Lots of distance between those two. <laughs> like I the coach know. losing the first like two game. hours or what? It's a couple hours, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's enough of a distance it's to uh, to be snooty towards them. San Antonio gotcha. thinks they're so cool with their river walk. <laughs> Actually, I think Austin is probably the the city that the rest of Texas kind of like ignores and talks yeah, about behind that, our back that, yeah isn't that true that that's the very liberal part of texas yeah we were the unusual yes. bit just right here in the middle in our own little bubble area hello to andy bab our second our chat old guy. friend andy bab <laughs> so you live in la like yes. where traffic's supposed to be like completely awful right it's the worst it's <laughs> the worst I've actually so been applying for a job in LA, attempting to. Uh, uh, what position? Where? Uh, I'd rather not like 
get into it too much because I'm uh, just just because it probably won't work out. I might bring it up later after it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the attitude to have. <laughs> after I've confirmed that it won't work out, then I'll <laughs> I'll talk about it. But um, I have like I know one person who knows a person in this company, so I'm just trying to like go through and get to it. Starts. It's it's not an I, I would imagine it's not an easy company to get into. It's kind of like an exclusive little group. So, but is um, it Facebook? It's not Facebook. Is Facebook no, in that, LA? <laughs> no, that's in San Francisco. I believe. San Francisco or Seattle? Gosh, I should know that. I don't know. But yeah, I was uh, I was uh, just looking into what the being in LA is like. It sounds it sounds crowded. That was the main it's thing. It's like I got South by Southwest it. every week. <laughs> That, that would be the first word I would use to describe it. Very crowded. The face asks, any plans of going to South by Southwest? I think this is the last weekend, isn't it? That This is the last weekend right now. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> where is that? To go it's, to a, Austin. it's just all around Austin. It's a thing that happens for a couple weeks in Austin. So, where it is have, Austin. Uh, well, is, was it like your state fair kind of thing? Or county fair? Uh, it's no. a bit bigger than a county fair. Oh, I know <laughs> it. I know what it is, but is that it, the equivalent of that for you? Because it's I, right in your city. I guess it's the big. It, that's the biggest event here, right? I mean, there are definitely other ACL, events. ACL. The ACL is better. Is it? ACL. Well, I mean, if you're going for a music standpoint, ACL is just better. I haven't been to any of them actually. Despite living here, I've never attended okay. any event for either ACL or South by Southwest. I've been to ACL. And that was a that's a blast. I think, but South by Southwest is a bunch of just local bands, yeah. which some of them are good and everything. But like, it's not like going and seeing Kings of Leon followed by like Rolling Stones. James, are you yeah. raising your hand? Yeah, he answered my question. Okay. <laughs> um, it's yeah, like when I was going to film school, our they would give us our spring break week off like the week after South by Southwest. It was really irritating. <laughs> Dicks. Yeah. So, um, but, uh, but yeah, all I'm getting from it this year is that, uh, I get a super crowded airport today, so that'll be fun. Yeah. Hoping that, that works out better than I'm imagining it's going to. The yeah, joke, fine. the joke about the, uh, the traffic that's been going around is the shortcut from North Austin to South Austin. And it's like going into El Paso and then up through Oklahoma <laughs> and then back down. Wow. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, that's pretty I, much. I think I haven't been to LA, so I don't know if this is a accurate comparison at all. But like this one stretch of road turns into like an LA road here for this one week while all this is going on. It's just well, impossible. Let's be clear. <laughs> LA is a big place. Not every road is bumper to bumper at all times. But most are. <laughs> it's we're, we're actually kind of more crowded actually, here, but uh, I, I think I, we're definitely not as bad as as what I've heard LA is like. The actual yeah, scariest place to drive is Houston. Yeah, Houston's not great. It's not. It's not bumper to bumper, but everyone is going a million miles no. an hour and <laughs> has no regrets running you just <laughs> off the road. It's just that everyone, everyone is playing a 90 mile an hour game of chicken the entire time. <laughs> it's and like trucks, we, right? We all have trucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. there's a lot of construction. And good luck if you fall off the main road because <laughs> we're just not letting you over because we're all going 90 miles an hour. It's the, uh, yeah, I'm not in a hurry to get to Houston, but wait, I want to get to all the national parks, though, and I think that city's closest to Big Bend National Park. Does that sound uh, right? No, I thought Austin is closer, right? Hopefully. I, I don't, I I don't, don't actually to know where Big Bend is. I am to be this. That's what? Huh? Yes. That's not where landmarks are, Ricky. Oh, but it is. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I don't understand. It is close to... I'm going to food.com it. I do. <laughs> Hello, do Hawk Fan Toes. Also, this is entirely new people, at least. Like, Big Bend is... Yeah, Big Bend's close to, like, El Paso and stuff. It's, like, really... Oh, right it's on. actually the furthest away from Houston you can get in Texas. Okay, much. yeah. I am never going to Houston. I can <laughs> say that without any Oh, there's Burntell. Of... Burntell knows who you are. Yeah, Burntell and I could go way back. <laughs> Burntell, Burntell, how, Burntell, is your is your grandmother dead yet? 
What? Because he was what? looking forward to that. He was last time I was talking to Burntell, he was complaining about how she, you know, he lives with her now, and she's just shitting all over the. I mean, yeah, crapping all over the house uh, because her, she's incontinent now in her old age. I can't actually tell if he's lying. Of course I think it's real. Lying. Just go with it. Go with it. Burnell is our uh, well, he 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 listens to all of our podcasts and everything, so he probably heard you on the other podcast you were on. Do you remember that yes. at all? Do you have any recollection of being on our podcast once before? Wait, what? <laughs> really? Yeah, it was our older no. one. It wasn't this one. It wasn't live. But oh, oh okay. It Wait, was, it was like just three regular years white noise, not white noise live. It was me and what Ethan. did we talk about? We talked about uh, Blockbuster trying to compete with Netflix. I remember that. Wow, ancient. I, I vaguely remember that. Wait, where can I find that? I want to listen right now. If you go to whitelightninghq.com slash podcast, don't actually listen right now, but that's listen where it is. right now. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about now. <laughs> We're talking about Big Bend National Park. Oh, right. Crappy traffic in Texas. That's what it was. Every city in Texas has its own variety of crappy traffic is the main thing. Austin's just stops. Austin is like a baby L.A., basically. So anything L.A., scale it down slightly, and that's how it is in Austin, mostly. And then San Antonio is crappy traffic because all the roads were designed by somebody who just didn't care. And so <laughs> you have to take these long, snaking paths to get anywhere. And then in Houston... Well, there's so much space. You want to use it. everyone's trying to kill each other, so... Dallas is... There's so much construction that you can't actually ever go to anywhere with a straight shot. You like have to go on like five other roads to get around construction no matter where you're going. It's nice. It's it's for your benefit. It's scenic. Yes. It's scenic. Uh, in Lubbock, you can get anywhere in 15 minutes, even in like peak traffic hours. That's because nobody wants to go there, Ricky. <laughs> and it's when pretty... they are there, there's nothing to do. There's, there's no things to do. Anywhere. <laughs> There's a Sounds buddy like Holly. You see them. Um, Hawk Van Taze says he's actually been on our channel for a year and a half. So, <laughs> sorry for not paying enough attention. Hi. I would have called that Hawk Van Toes. Yeah, he was just correcting us. <laughs> in the, he's he's saying it's Hawk Van Taze. I think he's incorrect because that's not how you would say that. <laughs> but also, I just yeah. realized I'm on video and keep like putting my face down here, and nobody knows what I'm doing. There's a there's a cat. <laughs> There's a cat? Is that what you said? Yeah, it'll show up on the stream for you guys in about 30 seconds. <laughs> oh I didn't know you had a cat. I, d I do. It, he showed up at our house one day pre-trained, and we just kind of kept him around. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I have a crappy blind dog. <laughs> you have a blind dog, really? Yeah, we adopted her about five months ago, and I haven't smiled in five months. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, it's like, <laughs> it's this crappy old chihuahua mix thing, like a chihuahua rat terrier thing, I don't know, and she's not, it's everything, everything, everything you love about dogs, the reason you get a dog, she didn't come with those things. <laughs> it's basically like having a, a meat purse that, <laughs> that poops, and you can't train it. <laughs> wow. Why did you get this thing? Sympathy? Like, yeah, no, not no, not because I wanted sympathy. I felt bad for the dog. We went there with the intention of getting a dog that needs us, and she had the right temperament because I need to be able to bring her to work okay. because you know I'm at work for like ten hours a day but with traffic and that kind of thing. So dog needs to be able to sit at my feet or something. Right. And, uh... <clears throat> oh, I saw the cat. There's a the cat. <laughs> That's how much of a delay we're on, everybody. <laughs> I, I did put an extra delay in there on purpose. I feel like I re-explained this every single episode we're in, though, which is not exciting. Oh, well, um, I didn't ask, Kyle. So. <laughs> we can, uh, one thing I wanted to start doing on the podcast, now that we're moving back to doing sketches every week, um, because uh, our our other show did not work out so well, I'm going to, I'd like to, do it. I'm going to try to start doing um, community comments, basically, on the podcast as well. So I'm going to pull open our latest video and figured we could just scroll through and find some comments to respond to. Uh, I actually just had that open. Give me a second. Oh, did you? Yeah. The the God Save the King Day? Yeah. I think the 
the probably in the future we'll like start the episodes out with some community comments because we usually don't know how to start the podcast so that's probably what we'll start doing at the beginning and then just kind of ramble on after that a burnt l i apologize i was having a bit of sport what did he say He's just clarifying that we've never spoken before, and okay. I know nothing <laughs> about knows, his nothing diarrhea spraying grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a new person, Wolf Wolf Undersurface. <laughs> he's, he, I think he's talking about your dog. He says if it's small enough to punt into the neighbor's yard, it's not a dog. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> What was the, it was like the Ron Swanson quote or something, that was like, small dogs are cats and cats are pointless. Holy crap, he remembers the <laughs> podcast too. Burnt Dell's asking me about my cat. I don't know which cat he's talking about. I, I mean, love I... that you don't remember this happening at all. <laughs> How long ago was it? Um, I can, I can check. One second, let me get this. Uh... I mean, because if it, if it was more than a open. week... Gone for my <laughs> definitely more than a week. This okay. was this was a good year or two before we started doing weekly videos. Okay. Um, and then he James also did a voice in uh, Fable Three Experience, and you did a really good job too. Actually, like you you did the giant monster thing that's in Fable Three, and it actually Wait. sounds great. He's done you a voice it to me. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, I this video, I I really. I need to figure out a way to set aside the time to finish the video because as it stands right now, I literally can't. I just don't have the time to do it. And I want to get it out because at this point, it has you in it. It has Jazza. It has Rice Pirate. It has all these people from Newgrounds that weren't as big of a deal back when Newgrounds was around. Yeah. And I, if I released it now, it would do very well. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I that. Burnt L. I, I'm sorry, we're at this. This is a bad way to communicate with this delay, but. Uh, I never had a white cat. Uh, it was a, <laughs> a black cat. Why are you calling your Because it, you had a white cat sitting in your lap? Is he, Have you ever been a Bond villain before? <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Um, uh, see, that was years ago, so it must yeah. be a lot longer ago than I remember. The The last uh, podcast you were on was May 22nd, 2012. Oh, so, my yeah, that God. was a while ago. Four years. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you remember. Um, pick Good memory for Burnt L too, though. Jesus. Yeah. Get, uh, Ricky, talk about something <laughs> while, while I find like, this. Find this. What video. are you looking for? The podcast? No, I'm trying to get the, the video comments open, and for some reason, I can't talk and <laughs> click on things at the same time. My brain just well, can't. There's a great one by back. Sasquatch at his computer. Because Sasquatch's computer is a cool guy. All right, cool. He already gave us a great idea for the next Civ Five video. What is that? He says that Civ Five will never stop being a beautiful fountain of comedy. Nor will it ever stop ruining history exams everywhere, because apparently Augustus Caesar nuking George Washington's capital city in 1873 is not a valid answer to what led to the beginning of World War One. I. <laughs> I I do actually have one one of my Civ Five idea mm, Civ Five ideas. Sorry, is um to have the the archaeologist units from the game, um doing like a like a History Channel special, talking about some old events like ridiculous historical events. So that should be fun. I could kind of work something in there like that. I mean, I haven't played Civ V, but I have played a lot of Civ Three because my roommate is stuck in the past. And so if you ever want help writing a Civ Three video, I don't I've got a lot to say about hear Elvis. anybody talk about Civ Three. Oh my god. I hear Civ Four referenced every now and then, but Read it, man, well. nobody goes, is there oh, a Civ Five? Isn't there a Civ Sorry, Five? Guys. My roommate has an Xbox in which he only plays NCAA 2004. He plays that game a lot. He loves 2004. It's his favorite one. And he only plays Civ 3. <laughs> hey, look, Sasquatch and, is here now. We, we summoned him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but the point is, he, he will not... Like he, and he only plays Halo 1. He won't play any of the other Halos. He loves Halo, but only Halo 1. Halo 1 was a good game. Did you send sure. something? I did. I, I sent the link to this ah. video in case you were interested in scrolling through the comments and reading any. Oh, good. Speak I was just sense. looking through Pootie Pie stuff, going to read some of those comments. If the Squatch <laughs> lasers everywhere. <clears throat> hey, that's an awesome set. Where'd you go? What? 
the, the oh, set oh, for the, this the video. Location. It was it's actually um, composited. That's not a real place. It's uh, the building is out in a green belt near my house, and then that opening shot I edited in uh, some stock footage that I got off of a. A, a stock footage website that I'm subscribed to. And oh my gosh, Kyle. Huh? Uh, you made me look at the background. There's yeah. like houses in yeah. your shots. Yeah. It's in a village. Okay. I put right. them there. It's good. I never noticed it. It looks like in your neighborhood almost. Oh, the shots on me, there are actually just, yeah, those yes. are just houses. But yes. <laughs> it, it, you know, it matched to the whole. The other houses in the other shot. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> also, how many of those cloth things do you have? What, just the weird tunic things? Yes. Those are just the same ones. I just reuse them. <laughs> yeah, like, I think those have been the most used costume ever. <laughs> More than, like, Gordon Freeman uh, facial just hair. Generic tunic, yeah. So, yeah, if you, if you find a comment you want, you can just read off who it's from and then... How do you not have more subs? Says Dan yells ninety five. I don't. We don't have an answer for that question. Like I love. I I appreciate that people ask it, but I don't know what the answer is to it. We're really bad at advertising ourselves. I don't. I don't know. Because you're not selling out. You're sticking to what you want to do. What you believe. Your core, Kyle. I suppose so. Tricky. We definitely could be making our numbers go up a lot faster if we just did Civ Five stuff all the time. <laughs> No, you have to stream every horror game that comes out. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that would drive people away. People tend to not like it when we stop doing the thing, the main thing we do. Dude, make make reaction videos to your own videos. <laughs> oh we my did gosh. that. Wait, we did that. We actually literally did two of those. No, we didn't. We did like explaining the special effects. No, no, we have well, two live streams on our channel called "Watching Our Own Videos," where me, Ian, and John and Rachel sat down in my media room and just watched all of our own videos and did commentary. Well, that explains on them. how you got to ten thousand subs. <laughs> we need to play like really obscure text-based games again. Oh yeah, yeah. We we do still have the what we what we want to do. We have a separate game channel where we just kind of dabble in on occasion. But um, e Ian is wanting to do Metal Gear stuff. He wants to make me play Metal Gear, and then he wants to edit them. And from what I hear, Metal Gear games will provide enough content to basically turn that channel into a Metal Gear channel, and I'm just going to let Ian manage it. Uh, hmm. So at some point soon, we will be starting that up. Uh, it's all about the awkward robot love stories. And we could do more of those, too. <laughs> But maybe make them more enjoyable to watch instead of us just like sitting in a room reading off of a screen you can't see. That was entertaining. I enjoyed that. I, I thought it was kind of. It was kind of like just another podcast, basically. Um, for for you who do not know, and and for James, uh, they live streamed. I don't even remember the name of the game, but it was like a text based game Choice about of robots creating sentient like robots, sentient robots. Yeah. yeah, and falling in love with them. It was like an interactive story thing, but it was very, very... It was like Sounds a choose-your-own-adventure novel, except, you know, it was programmed so it could have a billion pages or whatever, so... It... But we lost, because we ended up in Canada, which I'm just taking as a loss. <laughs> <laughs> we actually like made Canada. all the way to the end without dying, which apparently you can do in that game in multiple ways. I've never uh, played... It's uh, it's on. It's I only found out about it because somebody told me about it. I don't think it's a very popular game, but it's on Steam somewhere. It's it's it reasonably fun. Weird and hilarious. Yeah, I mean it's, it's it's definitely fun to do in a group too, where you're all just kind of making decisions together. Oh, I it, bet. There's a there's a whole website full of. It's called Choice of Games, and <laughs> there's lots of different themes to choose from. This chance what? They demanded whales in the chat. I don't have a whale emoji emoticon. <laughs> it's really bad smiley faces. That, I've got a car. That, uh, I can eggplant kind of looks like a purple whale. Oh, I can give them a boat. Then they can go find their whales Ooh. on the boat. I didn't even know we had emojis in the YouTube stream chat. Isn't that what with the little do? faces? There must be and an it's eggplant. A, it's a British boat for all of for burnt L. Here's a whale dressed as Santa Claus. What? 
Go on. <laughs> um, this what what else? This <laughs> I feel like this podcast is is not having quite the same amount of steam as our past ones have had. James, do you like? I movies? take full responsibility. <laughs> do you like movies, Mister Bowman? Sure. That's our usual fallback: is just go start talking about movies. I have okay, I saw Ten Cloverfield Batman. Lane last night. Oh, did you read? Uh, or Ricky also saw that. You guys talk about that for a minute. I don't want to say anything about that movie other than go see it. It's amazing. John Goodman gets an Oscar nod for a sci-fi. Yeah, he should. Like, I think that may be one of my favorite movies that I've seen in years. Uh, I'm a big fan of movies that are carried entirely on dialogue and acting. Mm -hmm. Like social, the the Social Network. That movie is is absolutely nothing without its great cast and its great acting. And I think that movie is the same way. Ten Cloverfield Lane. Well, I guess I'll yeah, just yeah, watch yeah. it now. I wasn't expecting much from it, but... Oh, uh, oh dude, seriously. Give yourself a little favor. I was... The, uh, the last movie that I remember just being so tense and just on the edge of my seat I was uh, the entire time. Uh, did you see the movie It Follows by any chance? I movies? love that movie. Great movie. Like, Excellent movie. But I never want to watch it again just because the <laughs> entire time I was just like my, my I was exhausted by the end of the the, uh, the, the viewing experience because I was just oh, so on edge the entire time. That movie is another really great movie that not a lot of people have seen. Mm -hmm. It follows. It's got an incredible soundtrack. Yeah, it just makes you feel like you don't want to be there, but you have to. But also, I really loved it fit the aesthetic where you just like, when the hell does this take place? You know, how they oh, made it all like, it's like they take bits and pieces from like every decade. She's got her little Kindle clamshell thing. Like, and, yeah, like an e-reader. But e -reader, their TVs but, are all black and white. <laughs> yeah. Like, the, she reads like from like a, she has like a computer clamshell thing. Like, a, it looks like a makeup compact and she opens it and it's like an e-reader with a touch screen. But they watch, like, black and white old silent movies, and they drive, like, yeah, like 90s cars, and the movie theater All they're the in. wood on the sides. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, yeah. I mean, Detroit looks pretty Detroit through the whole movie, because it takes place yep. in Detroit. It's timeless. Yeah. Detroit is timeless. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's really good. Uh, I'm a big fan of horror movies that are good. Like, The Witch was not that good. Hey, awesome. I saw The Witch too recently because I heard it was amazing. And I think it was a well-made movie. It was a great period piece, but I wasn't ever scared. No, um, it wasn't scary. It was uh, disturbing at yeah. some parts. Yeah, and, and it really, the whole time I was just thinking like, Man, things sucked back then. Like you know, the atmosphere it was, was good. Like the the costumes are good. I just wasn't. Yeah. I just left the movie. I was like, eh. Yeah, that's the way I felt. I heard. It, I mean, I was told that like this is one of those movies that's going to be banned in theaters for being too scary, and it way wasn't. It was yeah, like you said. I think there was one point where I was like, uh, maybe I don't know. Yeah, not that great. Um, but yeah, like you're saying, horror movies, um, they need to be good. Before yes. there's, before I like them, and therefore a lot of horror movies, Are they just try to Oculus? be scary. Wait, you you liked Oculus or you didn't? I loved Oculus. Did you like it? I liked it. I, I wasn't scared by it. Really. It, was good. it wasn't yeah. scary. It was conceptually good, and you felt pretty tense through the movie. I think that that's a lot of times when I go to a movie, I want to feel something, and so <laughs> if a movie can legitimately scare me, which most horror movies can't because they're just jump scares, which never surprise me because I just see them coming the entire time. It's like, there's going to be another jump scare. That's all this movie is. Or it's gore, which also, not scary, just uncomfortable to watch. I feel but, like, uh, um, not Insidious, Insidious is okay, but uh, not Insidious, the other one. It's called Sinister. Did you see that one? With the I did, yeah. yeah. That, that one does not have good. jump scares. It's got like I one. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about, too, where he just, yeah. like, comes out of the side of the screen. Or, yeah. You know, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. I like that, that was... movie. I feel like that 
that movie was like split right down the middle. People either liked the first half or they liked the second half. Right, they were completely right. different movies. Right. Yeah, that that um, one was pretty good. Um, it does seem like um, I just to preface, I don't watch horror movies like ever and have no basis to judge them on. But from what I've seen, it does seem like it's. It, it must be a lot easier to make a bad horror movie than it is to make a bad other genre of movie. Because well, yeah, because you you need so to many. you need to accomplish one thing basically with a horror movie, and if you fail at doing that, yeah. Um, like, but but even like what you said, where it just, like it helps, you know, if it's a good movie first, it's it's weird right. that you have to point that out because it seems like a lot of horror movies just ignore that factor yeah. and just try to make yeah. something that's you know horrible or scarier well, like, there's some like horror movies that are like not the best done like the descent but it's really good because they keep everything very claustrophobic they do it they do achieve that uh, i wasn't big on the descent my friend loves that movie that's like he, he thinks that's the scariest okay. movie he's ever like, seen yeah, I was just, okay. um what i can't remember what i didn't like about that movie specifically um I have Probably a real problem monsters. with movies. I was kind of joking about it earlier that I can't remember anything that I did like five minutes ago. But uh -huh. seriously, I have this thing, and my fiance actually has the exact same thing, where we know we've seen a movie, but can't remember anything about it. <laughs> I know I've seen it and whether or not I liked it, but like, I really, I don't remember movies for some reason. <laughs> Suddenly it makes much more sense that you can't remember being in this podcast. <laughs> yeah, who are you again? <laughs> <laughs> getting off of horror movies just like movies that I like watched and was like oh man that movie is incredible like Birdman did you ever see did you guys see Birdman I didn't yeah I love Birdman that movie That's, was just crazy it's amazing I mean it's, I know it wasn't really all done in one shot but yeah it, and still the, the way they edited it was incredible and the drum like the drum soundtrack yeah. everything yeah. about it was just like wow Anyways, that movie, that movie, and if anybody saw, it's semi horror, depending on who you ask. It's mostly sci-fi, but uh, was it called Ex Machina? Did anybody yeah. see that one? I didn't watch that one. Oh, either. look at this! I've seen all these movies. I didn't think I <laughs> yeah. saw that many movies. Apparently, you two have exactly the same taste in movies. <laughs> well, uh, oh, basically, I just go. Oh, was this movie critically acclaimed? Okay, I'll go see it. <laughs> I do sort of the same thing. Uh, anytime Alamo Drafthouse will recommend me a film, yeah, they do because they do like. Draft House recommends, and they're normally like indie films or films you wouldn't see otherwise, because The Witch was one of them. Unfortunately, that one was not the best one that they've recommended. They recommended Birdman, and they recommended uh, Ex Mahina, and It Follows. They normally pick good movies, and they're normally like movies that don't get shown in the other theaters in Lubbock. I'm sorry, who is this? I'm sorry. Alamo Draft House is this incredible right. movie going experience in Texas. <laughs> Uh, it's, we it's have a the arc light out. They give you food and stuff. It's yeah. like, yeah. yeah, it's theater with craft beer and food. Um, Not to just to bounce back real quick, I thought of another one. Have you seen The Baba Duke? Uh, yes. You uh, like I it? love that one. I liked it. I yeah, liked it the I love first that movie. The whole thing with it being uh, like the metaphor of grief. Yeah. Have you read about that? No, but symbolism is always lost on me. So I liked it for <laughs> the very much shallower experience than that. I wasn't sure where that good. sentence was going. That was that was a nice, <laughs> a nice pause. That whole, that whole uh, like the whole thing is just a like it is a physical manif manifestation of her grief, and oh, that's, that's why they wonderful. have it. Why they have it chained in the in the basement at the end because she's Don't gotten a hold it. of it. Oh, sorry, whatever. That movie's been out forever. Go see it. Yeah, it really is great. It's actually on, I think it's on Netflix. It right is now. on Netflix. Also, you can buy the, the terrifying pop-up book if you want to. Yeah, but that's like they 80 bucks. That. They sell that and you can own that and be just afraid of your bookshelf for the rest of all time. <laughs> Wasn't it just limited edition though? Like, I don't know if they, you can still get one. I don't know. You might not still be able to get it. Just make your own. Just make your own terrifying children's yeah, book. Yeah, just, just make your own Baba Duke. <laughs> I want a pet Babadook. She has a pet Babadook at the end of that movie. I want a pet Babadook. What mother keeps reading that book? Yeah, right? She's well, like, she can get rid of it. 
no, 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 no. It's just like, it's like, oh, I'll read this book. She's like, I didn't buy this book. And she's like, like, who just like blindly just like, yeah. all right, whatever. I'll just, I'll just go in this blind. And Horror like, movies do it, seem to star like only clueless people. Like you, you don't really have people who rationally like think through their actions as the stars of horror movies very often. The best thing because about a good horror movie though. <laughs> yeah, like the best thing about Insidious is like they're like, oh man, this house is haunted. Let's move. <laughs> like that's their first thing. Like when they're like, all right, you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna move. Right. And they do, and then it's still there. But what what can you do because, about that? Because it's Insidious. It is Insidious. And the first Insidious movie is pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah, I only saw the first one. I didn't see the other two. The other two aren't the best. I thought I heard the second the one was okay. Talk. What? Oh. I just want, I just realized I didn't check on the... So Yo, somebody needs to mention Doctor Who. The chat's basically been having their own conversation for this entire time. <laughs> uh, Did someone mention Doctor Who? Then Bart L mentioned Doctor Who and oh. then pointed out that he mentioned Doctor Who and by proxy ended up making us mention Doctor Who again. I, we almost made it through an entire podcast without bringing up Doctor Who. <laughs> the joke is that eventually we'll have an entire podcast dedicated to Doctor Who talk. Now, do you mean an entire show about that or an episode about one that? Episode, one episode. One episode of the podcast. Don't get me wrong. We could do a show, but we're just going to do the one episode. Right. I watched several episodes of the David Tennant years, but there you uh, go. That's all you that, need. <laughs> that's all I got. I mean, honestly, you don't need anything else. I have a, I have a comment here from Tigger Gola from the the uh, Civ Five video that came out this Monday that has sparked quite a comment chain, and I would like to mention again, as we have on previous podcasts. That this podcast is election coverage free. <laughs> but that said, <laughs> his comment was, Lightning, so far I have loved all your videos, and I know it's an election year, but keep election politics out of your videos. You don't know enough yet about politics to be funny to anyone but those who don't know enough yet. To which I would also, like to reply, the video was about Civ 5, and there were no references to politics in there, so not sure what you're talking about but that didn't stop everybody from arguing about politics in our <laughs> chat in our comment section it's terrible so. it, oh, so sorry I, I, our I, chat has written a movie oh did they they wrote zombie hipsters in space directed by stanley <laughs> kubrick oh. apparently uh someday i'm gonna go back and read through all of our chats a cut to a shot of a zombie in plaid, fake glasses, and scarf running down a space station corridor screaming, gluten-free, gluten-free. <laughs> That's our opening shot. I, I think we can do this. And then followed by, do brains have gluten? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what gluten is, to be honest. I believe it's a protein. Uh, yeah, IMDb just got everything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I had the... the there was the... Uh, the we love the wall chant in the video, so I think that's where that, that comment is coming from. But that's that is the extent of Oh <laughs> like we reference politics exist, but there's literally no commentary on anything in the entire video. I I commend you for keeping it that way to the best of your ability. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm not gonna I I don't get what why this guy is saying <laughs> making a judgment call on how much we know about politics, but I wasn't ever planning on including that in the, the actual video. I content. mean, I don't mind not knowing much about politics. I unfortunately have to know more than I would like because I work at a news station, so I get to see everything <laughs> as it comes in. Also, I mean, I don't... It's, it's, it's exhausting, and it's just so upsetting. I just wish I could unplug from it completely, but that's all anyone's posting on Facebook. I, I mean, and I... I guess I could just not go on Facebook. I was going to say, I you know can't. what you could do is something that we've all been starting to do, which is stop going on Facebook at all. It's it's actually, it's fantastic. It's so wonderful not being on Facebook. I bet. I don't have, the, I'm not strong enough. I was like, I just started realizing like every time I scroll on Facebook, I get really angry. Maybe I should stop doing that. That's, 
It's, I think that's probably the number one source of stress in my life is just what I see there. Well, and it's worse because it's people you know personally making you angry. Oh like, I can go to I'm Reddit, like, and then I'm just mad at people I've never seen before, and it's not quite as big of a deal, but on Facebook, I know all these people. <laughs> I learned something really terrible about my brother recently on Facebook. About your brother? How do you learn something new about your brother over Facebook? It happens. We don't talk about the stuff, and then he posted the thing, and I was just like, oh, no. <laughs> He's into... We're, we're not going to get into it. <laughs> Music Musket says, hey, who's James? It's this guy right here. <laughs> this, cool this headset with nice spiky hair. James is an animator. We already went through most of that. We also, your coat matches... You're like, your your wardrobe matches your, your soundproofing on the yeah, wall it behind. Does. <laughs> it's, like, incredible. You should see this room. <laughs> Check out my carpet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I designed this, this whole room. <laughs> Welcome it's, to White Lightning uh, Cribs. Yeah. White Lightning Cribs. <laughs> All of the guests we get on here look so professional, and I'm just sitting here in front of, like, a webcam to say, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we'll good. see actually what I'm trying to do. Professional. <laughs> well, as far as also professional, too. Technically, everybody's professional at what they do. You know what it so, is? It's it's the visible microphone with pop filter. If you add that, you suddenly look more true. professional. It's like true. the clipboard of like <laughs> yeah. creating. Hey Kyle, is that an AT twenty twenty? Um, the microphone. Yeah, I, I have no idea. <laughs> Actually, <just> okay. <laughs> it was <laughs> just agreed. I needed I needed two microphones for the show we're no longer doing, and um. This was the uh, the cheapest one that also had the best reviews on Amazon, so that's the one I got. Sounds like an AT2020. That's what I got right here. <laughs> okay. I like yeah. uh, Wolf Under Surface. I know handles better than I know actual names. <laughs> yeah, that, oh, that was that actually reminds me again of um, uh, the, the Pico Day that we went to, which was actually that same year that you were on the podcast. That was actually like a two-month gap, I guess. It was like right after I met oh. you there. Um, gotcha. The... That was... Do you remember any of that day at all? Sure. Because that was... <laughs> that was actually one of my favorite... Like, it was really cool going to that. Like, that was that was the most... The most internet celebrity I've ever felt. Just because yeah. I was oh, like... Yeah, really in this building there. full it's, of all these yeah. people who do exactly. cool stuff. Exactly. After you like, leave, don't you just want to work on stuff? Yeah. And yeah. and it's... Uh, yeah, I'm really glad that I got to go do that. Especially now that they, they aren't able to do it quite as much anymore. I think I went to, like, one of their last big ones that they did. And, mm -hmm. um... I mean, and, they're doing another Pico Day this year. I'm sure you were invited. Are they do? Yeah. They are? And I didn't get... Yeah. I don't do stuff on Newgrounds anymore, so I'm not... I don't no. really get the invites anymore if they still yeah, do Yeah, I mean, they, they still do it every year. Like, it's, they were talking about having to sell the office and stuff. Yeah, but did they not do that? Did they change no, their No, it's mind? still there. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I didn't, I didn't yeah. know that they So, changed. but I can't make it. I haven't been able to make it. And the other th usually the problem is that Pico Day like falls directly on my birthday. And it's uh. like, I, <laughs> I guess I could go and hang out with my internet friends on my birthday. <laughs> but do I really? I don't really know them that well. It's also just, nah. You know so what's irritating I, is I could actually do it now too. Like I had... I, I have a job. I have money. I could actually like buy myself a flight out there if I wanted to. Oh well, look at you. I was a, I, I was able to last <laughs> time because my uh, my dad took me. But I think I was still like I was first or second year college when I was when that you happened. You were but a tyke. Yeah, I a tot. just I well actually I think that was the last. That was actually the big finale to my Newgrounds career, basically. I made no service. I got invited to this thing, and then I stopped making animations. <laughs> So, At a boy. Yeah. I waited until the following year. <laughs> but it was it was definitely cool. Why did I? Oh right, I was bringing that up because when you go there, I don't you don't know who anybody is because you haven't seen anyone, and so you're like, hey, how's it going? They're like, hey, I'm like, I'm Kyle. I'm known as White Lightning, and they're like, oh, hey, how's it going? It was like, yeah, it was really cool. Like, you would meet everybody and not know who they were until you traded your usernames. And you're like, oh yeah, you're that guy. I saw your stuff. So and also, you're kind of just like, you don't know me, so you're like, I'm Donkey's Bazooka, and they're just like, oh, and I'm like, 
Oh, yeah. oh, you know who I am. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember yeah. why we. I remember talking to you a lot there. You were going on this. I I walked over to you because you were going on this big big rant about how much you hate the Jews, and I don't do that. Come over... on, <laughs> don't do that on a live <laughs> podcast. <laughs> People are gonna. And I came over right to tell you you're wrong, chat. and then we became fast friends. That didn't oh. happen at all in any, any capacity. <laughs> so it's already example, bad enough that yeah. we're called White Lightning HQ and are nine white people. Like we've already had to address this at one oh, point. Is that yeah, really I can see how that could be. It enough. finally came up once, and we tried keeping it like quiet for a while, and then somebody mentioned it in the chat on one of these live podcasts, and we were like, "All right, I guess we're doing this now." <laughs> Um, but, uh, I've I, had a thing with like the whole tags thing, like the handles or whatever. And it like weirded me out because like I like to be competitive at things, so I, I play games competitively. Yeah. And so normally it's card games, and when you show up at a Magic tournament, you're like, "Hi, my name's Ricky," you know, and you introduce yourself, and you have a good time. And then you go to like video game tournaments, which I had never done before, and they make you use a screen name. That makes and sense. And so like. Put in my also Steve screen name, because why not? And then, like, I show up at my match or whatever, and I'm like, hi, my name's Ricky. And they're like, that's not who I'm playing. I'm playing somebody named also Steve. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's me. That's my screen name. But, you know, I go by Ricky. And they're just like, hi, my name is, is like, Uber Pimp. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, well, what, you know, what's your real name? Uh, my name is Uber Pimp. And I'm just like, all right, man, you're good. And it was weird. It was off. Off-putting for me. It was. It was interesting. <laughs> not to say I mean, that people who go by it. their screen names are are bad. No, that's fine. But it, I wasn't expecting. You are who you want to be. <laughs> yeah, and Uber Pimp, if you're out there listening, you're a great person, and I think I beat you. So, huh. <laughs> it was. I, I have. Um, I have a separate screen name that I use for games and stuff, but I've never like used that outside of games like if, even when i'm talking to people online if i'm doing anything i don't feel like hi i'm the count of keys i'm i'm just i'm kyle i don't know it's weird you're you're what my username is the count of keys did you just play piano keys. yeah oh. that's my Mine's i assumed it was like the florida keys <laughs> i probably shouldn't say that because now everybody's gonna like go add me on steam or something but my my name is always also Steve for anything online. Yeah, that I like yours. Actually, require my name. <laughs> like everything that isn't tax documents. In <laughs> <laughs> job and uh, like resumes. Well, there's something I don't need to say. That would not be safe. Never mind. <laughs> uh, okay. Were you about to be like I, I file my taxes under donkey bazookas? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that name come from? Why is why is that one yours? Because ours was White Lightning came from me seeing somebody else with the name White Lightning on YouTube, actually, like back when it first started and thinking that sounds cool, and then going to New Rounds and making that name and stealing it. So So <laughs> So you have White Lightning HQ right. as your YouTube thing. Does White Lightning itself still exist or was that abandoned by White someone? Lightning was the Newgrounds name and it was back Right, when... but I'm saying on YouTube is there just a White Lightning? Uh I don't know. I'm I'm sure there's an account with there's the name White, White Lightning. Lightning. Our our account name isn't White Lightning HQ. It's we use Google's, you know, Google Plus page or whatever that you use to change it. Our account name is different. It was the username I was using for everything back then. Um, the the group name White Lightning just came from the fact that I was in high school and the Newgrounds username system was adjective noun and I saw White Lightning somewhere and thought, that sounds cool, and so I used that. It does sound cool. <laughs> and racist. <laughs> uh. Um, what did, what did, where did yours come from? Oh, um, I took two words and stuck them together. <laughs> Just two words that you liked the sound of? <laughs> yeah, it was my AOL instant messenger screen okay. name. Nice. And I don't know why those words. I just like both words. I like, I like the consonants D and B. Um, and that had both of those. Bazooka's a funny word. I don't know. It's terrible. <laughs> my biggest regret, like, of my online presence, very min minimal at this point, um, 
uh, is adding the S. It's donkey's bazooka. Uh, and everyone just right. assumes it's donkey bazooka. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so because of that, I've had to go and nab the donkey bazooka URL oh. and donkey bazooka Twitter handle just so <laughs> no one else takes them or something, you know, dumb. We had we had a really irritating moment a while back where somebody else on White YouTube Kyle. named Kyle decided to call himself White Lightning Kyle. White Lightning Kyle. And that was that was annoying. He was also just like a pit of a human being. He was like everything opposite of everything that I am and stand for. <laughs> and so he liked the Jews. Decided to call him. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> He, a word, he has like a video, like he, his videos were Call of Duty playthroughs and prank calling strippers. I'm not even joking. Those were like his two main things. How do you prank call strippers? How do you get a hold of strippers? I don't know. That's, that's what he'd do. That was his thing. And he would, he's now goes by a different name and is still also, this is the irritating part you see, significantly more popular than we are. So if you try to search White Lightning on YouTube... That still shows up first, even though he changed his name. Oh. Hmm. So having it be White Lightning HQ has been a, a big help because that, that was the name of our website. We were White Lightning, so I was like, White Lightning Headquarters, that's the name of the site. But then I found out that that was much more Googleable, and so we just ended up making the name hey, into that. Googleable. So. to Mr. Technical Difficult? That he did. Oh my gosh, he is way more popular than us. That is very frustrating. It is, it is highly disappointing, yes. He's got over a million subscribers. I know. Oh my god. You guys should stop. <laughs> just, just quit. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't yeah, even do the has, same stuff. He has we a like. second channel uh, with 600,000 subscribers. No, no, that's his second channel. He has another one with more. And you he may has be a, finding his third channel. <laughs> he has a Clash of Clans channel with 910,000 subscribers. He's sounds like a stand-up guy. I, uh, you know, well, I'm bringing it back with... around in a way that I said I wasn't going to, but he's he's very Trumpy. His <laughs> his fans are all like like we. One of the things I like a lot about our channel is that all of our fans are like weirdly the most positive people you could ever find on the internet. Like if you ever wonder where the nice people are on the internet, they're in our comment section. That's where Aww, they ended up how going. Cute. It's fantastic. Um, I would hate to run into this guy's fans. Like if they ever found out we were bad mouthing him, I feel like they'd come over and start like trying to pick fights with us. Well, we're not <laughs> bad mouthing him. I just subscribed. I love him. <laughs> uh, it's fine. They'll never see this. He has a Patreon Stan. account that I'm dumping <laughs> money into right now. <laughs> anyway, shut up, James. There's a channel called talking. Mom Spaghetti that's nothing but drone flights. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. Yeah. I subscribed to them just because their name was Mob Spaghetti. <laughs> Have you guys seen the, the competitive drone racing that exists right now? Like, I, yes. I, I kind of want to get into that. I don't, I don't have the time to, but I certainly want to. Like, they, they build their own drones. They find the pieces, build them like you would build a computer, and then they have the little VR glasses so that they can see from the perspective of the drone, and then they yes. have races with them. That sounds awesome. Yeah. And Sorry. expensive. Here's why I subscribed. I subscribe because their channel description is flying till your knees are weak and your arms are heavy. <laughs> ah, they they haven't really uploaded committed. in seven months and oh. they have seven subscribers. <laughs> and you're one of those seven, right? <laughs> I am one of those seven. It's pretty incredible. Nope. I'm still oh, here. You. Yeah, you cut out. Is Sorry. Kyle there? Yeah. Kyle. Kyle! I'm still here. Still here. He's gone. Something happened? No, you're still, still there. I'm sorry. Okay. No, don't go spam the comment section. That's just going to draw attention to us. Don't do that. Somebody in the chat is saying they're going to go spam his comment section. No, 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 music musket. We can sit here and complain about him here. Don't do that. That's not going to help anything. We've, uh, we're trying to meet more YouTubers also, and um, I'd like to have more guests on this show, actually, which is a, a decent way of doing that and like have more interviews with people and stuff. Well, um, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. Eventually. Are, are you? Are you? Are you working something out? Like, do you have a channel you're building up? I actually am. 
Um, well, what is it's, it? Plug it. It's plug the crap it's out of that. Being, oh, it doesn't exist yet. I'm not going <laughs> to give the name, but you invite me back when I'm ready. I've been okay. working on it for like the past five months, pretty hardcore, oh, and cool. then it's going to launch it, and it's just boom, well, and then, yeah. then no one's going to subscribe. But we'll, we'll definitely have you back to uh, to advertise that. Yeah, um, totally. But that's that's kind of what we'd like to. This is this is sort of our our casual thing because we had a a show called Community Comments for just whenever we would finish filming a sketch, we'd read off some comments that we prepared, and that was our way of talking directly with the audience, which I think helped us a lot. I would actually suggest that if you have any like doing a a short form version of directly interacting with your subscribers helps quite a bit actually. You mean um, like this exact thing that you're doing right here? Basically, I think this one, this gets fewer views because it's long, and so not everybody wants to sit down and listen to a podcast. Our previous ones were like 20 minutes long each, and we got uh, a little bit more interaction through that. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's a good thing. It's definitely a good good idea to... Yeah, we've, we've gotten a lot of compliments from people on um, how much we interact with the commenters and everything, so it's definitely Me something too. people seem to... Uh, to to appreciate like if if you're trying to at least retain the fan base that you have like that's we we're not growing super fast but everybody we end up getting on the channel ends up staying which is one thing that we've we've always been mm. proud of way back when we actually would read all the comments because we didn't have that many people yeah we just pretend like we were like well here's the here's some of the co a selection of comments from this week and it was really just the whole just comment all section of, that was all we got like, all five comments <laughs> I'm doing a similar thing with the shows that I'm currently doing because I'm trying to like backlog a bunch of shows so when yeah. I finally launch the channel and I'm having viewer mail too even though there's no way that can even exist. I'm making up my own viewer mail. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. See, that's a completely that's that's a that's a that's a step further than we were going. <laughs> <laughs> um what is what is the channel going to actually be about like what are you posting on it? Because you have There's... a YouTube channel now that I actually have linked to from our channel. I assume you don't post stuff there anymore if the Wing That's Dogs pretty videos. dead. Yeah, that was a, an experiment I tried to do. Because I tried to do that with my brother. Okay. Um, because I wasn't ever able to, because of animation taking so long, I was never able to upload things quickly enough. Right. Um, so the idea was, oh, well, we'll collaborate and we'll both be, you know, you he'll do the live action stuff and I'll do the animation stuff and together mm -hmm. we can have, you know... Frequent uploads uh, never quite panned out because, I don't know, I can't totally blame him for everything, but it's all his fault. <laughs> and um, so the show, I mean, the channel was just like, we got to like 7,000 subscribers and then we just like... Yeah, you eh, were actually, you were doing it. better than us for quite a while there. <laughs> no, it grew very fast and I owe that all to Oni NG, Chris O'Neill there, because he like liked villainy episode two or favorite okay. or whatever and then all of his subscribers went to me well not all of them yeah. obviously but no that'd be we'd, we'd actually like to have him on the show if that's not possible he subscribed to us but won't respond to any messages i sent him wait the only oh, really? yeah yeah no only subscribed to us and our, our biggest subscriber is tom scott but he's obviously very busy all the time so hmm. hey so he's uh, pretty pretty big dude yeah no he's got like three million subscribers um, and uh, and should I mean, because his stuff is very good. Unlike sure some other Kyles, I know other people I know. Rice pirate on. He's... Yeah, rice pirates on our list. We do want to try to get, have him on. Um, I'd like to have Jazz on sometime, but uh, he's extremely he's a busy, busy guy. Now. Yeah, he's with, with the baby and the the actual business and stuff, and like his YouTube yeah. channel has gotten pretty big. It's it, his that is a success story. It's yeah. grown very fast. Like I remember when he was first starting the thing, and he had like fifty thousand. I was like, "Wow, good for him." He's got like a million or like five hundred thousand or something. I haven't like even that checked now. lately. It's got to be Ooh. a lot. Jazza, he's we 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 had him. He was on an old podcast too, actually. Um, what did he make? He, he made. He was a Newgrounds animator. He made a series called Larry that everybody liked. He um, has five hundred thousand. He Ish. currently does, he has a YouTube channel where he does, like, Flash tutorials and things. Um, that mostly, it's like Flash and art tutorials, and he does a really good job on them, and yeah, he's gotten a lot of attention for it. Um, so he's kind of hard to get a hold of at the moment. Yeah. He actually had, like, a little community meetup out here in LA last time it was in America. Oh, okay. And there were, like, 30 some people who came to draw with Jazza, and yeah. we all sat around, and I learned that, oh, wait, I can't draw. <laughs> um, it was really embarrassing, I'm serious, like, uh, because for 
so long. I haven't actually put pencil to paper in years. Yeah. I do all my drawing on this Cintiq right here. So I can't not draw digitally. Like I'm so used to drawing a line and, oh, that's wrong, selecting yeah. it and rotating it and stretching <laughs> it. I can't draw anymore. So oh, I'm sitting there with all these really good artists and people who want to be really good artists and people who think they're really good artists that aren't. And I'm just sitting there with my pad and I like kind of drew a drawing of this, that Seymour evil character I do in villainy. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, that's bad. And I just <laughs> didn't want to show anyone. Um, yeah. yeah. I got to, I got to meet him once in person also back well, as Pico day. He was there also. Um, yeah. So that was cool. And he's, he's been really cool since he, I think he commented on one of the fable videos back when I released those and I messaged him at some point after that. And since then, like he was my go-to guy for flash questions while I was still animating. Like I'd need to know something about how the, how to do this thing. And if I couldn't find anything online about it, I'd just go to Newgrounds and send him a message. So it's really cool that he's doing that now as a channel for everybody. Like it's, it was a, yeah. It was interesting just from my perspective because that's that's who he was to me to begin with and now I go to his channel just to watch his videos too because he still gives good advice yeah. on things. And what a velvety satin voice he has. <laughs> um, um, we also have... Uh, I've always wanted to do that. Create a... I want to make YouTube tutorials for Flash that are like tricks for animating to cheat. Oh, yeah. Like... To yeah. make your animation look better than it actually does. Yeah, no, cheating's the best I, when you're animating. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yeah. you can you can speed things yeah. up. Yeah, I got a few good suggestions, but I haven't found the right the right place to put it. You know, I don't know if it's going to belong on the new channel that I'm working on, so it'll probably never happen. Why all that work for nothing? Did you actually did you say what you're doing on the new channel? Like what kind? Oh, of no, I didn't. Content you're doing? Do you want um, to? I'm, Doing a few different shows, uh, like three different. The idea is to make just like a template that I can put the live video recorded into it and then just upload it. So mm -hmm. I don't need to do too much editing stuff, though that is quickly, quickly becoming a uh, false hope. <laughs> it's a lot more work than I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do like a, a music podcast, video podcast thing. And I have a storytelling podcast in which my, for, I used to be in a gang <laughs> and uh, in which both of us basically tell the stories of the adventures and stuff that we went on when we were in the gang. Um, this is real, by the way. Wait, you were uh, actually in a gang? God, he lives in LA, right? <laughs> okay, so hold on. Let me <laughs> get something straight here. Hold on. Yeah. We've had like over an hour of having weird pauses and randomly talking about, like, name-dropping horror movies without going into too much detail about them. And this whole time, you could have been regaling us on your gang days, and that could have been the subject of this podcast. I could, but then what it's would I have to talk about on my new show? <laughs> exactly. That isn't going to be out till maybe June. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, well... <laughs> I guess I guess we can go ahead and draw this podcast to a close. It was we're a little bit over time, but it started getting more interesting near the end, so I wanted to keep going. I was also in Vietnam. <laughs> oh man! Are, are you also immortal? We 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 just released a video about this actually re recently. <laughs> I liked that video. I saw yeah. it. Oh, did you? That video Funny. is that video based on my roommate Kyle? Is that where it came from? It, it's based on Jeffrey. Jeffrey's an immortal oh. Irishman. Is Jeffrey also immortal? Yeah. My roommate's actually immortal. Like, he's, like, <laughs> Asian, and he looks like he's, like, 18, but he is, like, 36. <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey has about that... the same difference. He's, like, 24 and looks 12, so... <laughs> what they say, Asian don't crack. Yeah, but I have heard you say that, so I guess they do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, like if I ever like like the theory is that he's a vampire. Like there was even like one time where like we got pulled over and he was driving, and he gave the cop like his like license, and the cop like detained him for a while in his car, and like the rest of us were just sitting in the car and we're like, oh my god, it's because his license doesn't exist because he doesn't show up in the system because he's a vampire, <laughs> and that's because we're it's three in the morning and we're driving back from Oklahoma, and we got pulled over for no reason. And so that's where we're like, 
that's what happened. This is actually real. He's actually a vampire, so. I it really wasn't how this ends. Oh, the cop was just mad at him because he was like, he handed him his debit card instead of his license. What? Uh, so, he, so he was acting drunk? Because he couldn't see his wallet. Ah. And then, like, the, the guy goes, thought like, he was drunk or what? Like, that does come like, across as either drunk or being overly snarky at like three in the morning. What happened was, so. we're driving at reasonable speeds and uh, come across this cop that is going 30 on a highway. So we slow down to 30 because we think like there's something up ahead. We don't drive on this road. Yeah. And uh, there's like a town coming up. So we're like, oh, did the speed limit change? What happened? It's three in the morning. And so we slow down to 30 and we drive behind him for like a couple of minutes. And then we're like, I don't think there's anything here. Let's go around him. And then we go around him and he pulled us over for being suspicious for driving <laughs> 30 miles an hour on the highway. <laughs> and then he detained Patrick and he was trying to get Patrick to submit to him confiscating our cell phones and searching our car, which I told him he could search the car. He'd just find a lot of magic cards. <laughs> You're coming so, with me. It's just like, <laughs> we had to, like, uh, you can't have my phone. But that sounds remarkably wanna... similar to me. I was I was driving back from Waco with Ian one time after helping him unload his apartment. After, it was mm -hmm. after he had graduated Baylor. I helped him get all the stuff out of the apartment, and we were driving back, and it was during one of their big games, so cops were pulling people over more often because I guess people get drunk and drive around the game time. Um, I've never heard of such a thing. But he... It was... It was kind of a similar thing. Like the cop pulled us over, and his the reasons he gave were that uh, first we were staying in the leftmost lane of the highway, which apparently you're only supposed to use for passing, and I didn't know that. Um, and also that we were going over the speed limit, which was interesting because he basically pulled us over for going too fast and not going fast enough at the same time because we weren't fat passing people on the in the lane. But, uh, but yeah, he was, he, Ian, Ian gets very, very nervous when any kind of confrontation situation shows up. And so he's acting really shifty because he's just super nervous about being pulled over by this cop. Um, yeah. the cop was being weird too. Like he actually, I didn't, I've never been pulled over before personally. I was, I was just in passenger, in the passenger seat when this happened. And the cop had us each come back to the cop car and like interviewed us separately. And when I got home, I mentioned that to my parents and they were like, yeah, that, that doesn't, you don't do that. <laughs> That's not how that works. He's not supposed to take you back to the car and like interview you, but that, that's, that's what ended up happening. And so he but was, uh, he, he wanted to search the car also. And we, Ian wouldn't let him search the car. We didn't want him to search the car because we had just packed Ian's entire apartment contents into the car. And so oh, to search God. it, he would have had to like pull all this stuff out. Um, so he Ugh. said, like, we're going to get some drug dogs down here and sniff the car around, because apparently Ethan had convinced, e not Ethan, Ian had convinced him that uh, there were drugs somewhere in the car just by being <laughs> nervous. And we got, we got to leave because, and this is the actual reason, all the drug dogs in Waco were occupied at the time, and he couldn't get one to the car, because they were all busy elsewhere, so he had to just let us go. He told you yeah. that? He well, he didn't. He didn't phrase it exactly that way. He was like, "We, we, we actually, no, wait, sorry, I heard it on the radio. I was in his car when the call came in and heard them saying oh. they couldn't release any of the drug dogs." <laughs> and so me and Ian just laughed about that all the way home. <laughs> like I couldn't, they oh, couldn't man. get a drug dog to us because they were all too busy in Waco that weekend. <laughs> Sniffing butts somewhere. <laughs> that was, that was amusing. And he wouldn't have found anything anyway. They would have pulled all the crap out of this car, and we would have had to shove everything back in. He probably would have opened the trunk and been like, uh, you guys can go. Because there just wouldn't have been any any point in trying to dig through that. Yeah, we were detained for an hour, so we got home at, like, <laughs> five. Yuck. I've never been in a cop car. Yeah, I only oh, was in there that caught. one time. Because I, <laughs> I was just sitting there having to talk to him. He was like, do you know, how, how long have you known Ian? Like, a, a while, high school? Like, does he have, what, uh, do you think uh, he might have any kind of illegal substance in his car? And I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you kidding, <laughs> Ian? What no. a super sleuth. <laughs> he might have some, uh, some banned books. <laughs> some, some contraband Latin literature. 
I have a sticker on my pants. I'm glad I haven't found that. Oh my goodness. I'm wearing new pants. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Everybody is unsubscribing, like, <laughs> rapidly now. How dare you? All right, this podcast has been going on for long enough, I think. I'm going to go uh, finish getting ready to go to Ireland. So I'm going to have a video posted tomorrow for uh, to actually announce that I'm in Ireland. So anybody other than the nine people watching right now, wait, sorry, we're three of those six people watching right now, can uh, check that out. And uh, Sounds fun. Hopefully come come uh, meet up at some point or something. I so, yeah. can't make the podcast next week. I will not be here next week. I will be in Ireland. On stuff. I guess it's just experience. me then. <laughs> James, right. will be taking over the channel James. for the next week? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what will actually be up for the next week is behind the scenes videos every single day because we prepared all those for 10K week. So everybody look forward to those. Those were fun to make. I think they turned out well. Yeah. 10,000 subscribers. Yay. Okay. Everybody have a good weekend. Um, you guys uh, stay quiet while I do the outro animation because I still I'm haven't sorry, worked out everyone. how to make that work. Bye, everybody. Bye.